Hello everybody, welcome to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob and I have Kanji and Mel on the line. We're going to be playing some Wingspan. Say hi everybody. Hi everyone. Hello, hi hello. everybody. Hello to you watching live. <laughs> uh, for those that don't know, uh, I should probably... One second. Uh, so full disclosure, the folks over at Monster Couch uh, that developed this game... In my previous Wingspan Digital Explained, they sent me the code for the original game. Well, they reached out uh, with a code for the European expansion, which is... There it is. It's now available as of May 5th. Um, but more importantly, the real information I, I want you guys to know is uh, if you don't have Wingspan and you're like, what? This thing's on on the computers and the, and the tablets and things uh, and the Nintendo Switches. Uh, it is on sale right now, at least on Steam. Uh, the base wingspan, the bundle, there's another bundle with like seasonal backgrounds and stuff. If you've been waiting on this game and like, yeah, you didn't like it, it you know, the price at the beginning or whatever, they have a sale going on right now for the week. Um, so it's only like $11 for the app, which I think is pretty, a pretty, pretty good steal. Uh, but yeah, just throwing that out there. I did put a link down in the video description to Monster Couch's page for wingspan that has links to all the different platforms. So it's, it exists on, actually I'm gonna bring that up here. Monster Couch. A coolest name for a developer too, by the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see here, Wingspan. No, nope, no, nope, this is not what I was looking for. There's another link. Oh, where's this page? Hold on, let me get it from my, put it in the description. Just want to make sure. I know it's for iOS, Android, and Switch. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's also on Xbox. Okay. I didn't know that. Not on PlayStation, I guess, though. Uh-oh. Sony losing the console wars now? Is that what's happening? <laughs> you didn't get wingspan? It's all over. It's all over. Okay. All right. Good to know. Good to know. How's everyone doing? Hello, hello. Yeah, so I figured um, last week we played Euthia Super Table Hog Epic game of killing monsters and beating bosses and, you know, all that kind of stuff, slaying dragons. And then we, we moved into playing Folklore, which was like, you know, roaming the countryside, trying to avoid werewolves and, and vampires and hope your, your party members don't try to stab you and, and eat you and all that kind of stuff. I figured, uh, since those games are epic, violent, uh, you know, themes, I, I figured this, you know, I was in the mood for another violent, super epic game, and I figured Wingspan would, would fill that gap. So that's what we're going to play today is, uh, you know, bird watching. I figured, was a very similar theme. Uh, so that's that's why I wanted to stream this game, too. That's the other thing. So, yeah, it just kind of fits, right? So you're going to play aggressively and violently is what you're saying? Yeah, of course. I mean, use all the mm -hmm. skills uh, from Folklore and Euthia and play this with the exact same mentality. So watch out. I'm going to watch, watch right. birds like you've never watched birds before. So all birds of prey on Rob's side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, what? You This bird eats other birds? Uh, bot. <laughs> Done. Draw. <laughs> play. Uh, bird watching is cutthroat, says Ultravioletta. Yes, I agree. Oh, well, it's the cover got his burn cycle notification. Nice. I wish I got mine, but uh, right. I, yeah, I haven't yet. I have not yet. Okay. All right. So I set up a game. Uh, it looks like we're good to start turns here. Is that what's happening? Yeah, it's your turn. Oh. Your turn. I've already picked my stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, th I figured setup would happen like all together at the beginning. I didn't realize. Okay. I think it's one at a time. All right, cool, cool. I, Kate, I said, I told Kanji he should stream it from his point of view. Um, but yeah, he chose not to, so. <laughs> I'm hanging out. I'm hanging out. This yeah, is... he's relaxing, all right? He doesn't have to stress over his stream. It's all good. <laughs> you know, sometimes you play games off of camera. It's a thing I've heard about, but no, I'm just joking. I'm talking, I know. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rob was a bird. What would he be? The uh, Canadian looter. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever birds take stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. So 
And again, please, anyone who plays lots of Wingspan and is a pro, please don't judge me. I haven't played it in a while. Uh, we played this morning like a practice game, make sure everything worked. Um, uh, with Mel, I played a two-player game quick quick and dirty to make sure I had the flow of the app. It's been a while, but uh, don't don't come here looking for strategy, all right? What, you're not a pro Wingspan player? No, no, I'm not. I'm sorry. Okay. I do love Wingspan, I, though. I guess that's good for us. <laughs> come on, we're here to have fun. Yeah, fun, that's it. Well, I, I created an alliance with Mel so that I can fight back the the uh, AI and then we come for you. Is that what it is? Hold on. Did we launch Game of Thrones, a board game, or Wingspan? <laughs> I forget which, which which app are we playing again. <laughs> I maybe opened the wrong one. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Uh, I'm just looking at the round end goals. So it looks like end of round one is count the total number of eggs your birds have laid in the specific habitat row. Multiple eggs on one bird. One bird each count. Okay, just total number of eggs, okay. Second one is number of food tokens in your personal supply. So gather all the foods, okay. And then we have round three will be count the total number of birds you currently have in this specific habitat row. So similar to like the first one, but it's birds instead of eggs and it's in the, I don't know, what is it? Forest, plains and marsh or water. I forget what the names are of the places, but. Yeah, that's so weird my name isn't showing. Yeah, and your picture is just a question mark. Yeah, maybe sure. when it gets to your turn, it'll load or something. Oh, oh maybe okay. so. Okay. Yeah, I see the same thing on my side. Uh, and anyone who doesn't know Wingspan, if you're new here, there's like how to play videos of Wingspan. There's lots of content out there to learn how to play it. But basically, it's a engine building uh, like card game, kind of tableau building card game, I would say. It's similar to like Terraforming Mars. A lot of people compare them because they're both, you know, big, giant huge decks of cards that have a completely unique cards like there's no two copies of the same card and it has like round end goals and you're trying to put birds in your tableau in the right habitats lay eggs and you know try to try to compete for hidden goals and then there's public goals and you're just basically going for points and right. uh that's basically the way i would explain it uh, but it is like a very popular game very highly regarded game and if you're looking for a game to just chill um you know on a tablet computer laptop whatever the digital version is like one of the best digital uh board game adaptations in my mind and man it is so relaxing you turn on the sounds the the background yeah, music the yeah. ambiance and it's just like ah uh, it's good stuff it's good stuff i like it yeah i like it but uh okay Looks like Mel's already winning here in this uh, little view here. And then... <laughs> <Round two. laughs> what the hell? And then the final round, it looks like the number of... What is this number of... I won't stay... Okay, number of columns in which all three birds' spaces are filled? Yeah, so oh, if so the one like, egg column is filled, the two it. egg column is filled. I get it, I get it. So yeah, you want to kind of like evenly spread out your birds in each habitat instead of just like filling up one and leaving a couple empty kind of idea. Right. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, uh, so if that's the case, that's where I kind of... I, I like to look at the, the end goals to kind of see... Uh, end of round goals to kind of see before I pick uh, my mulligan or my starting hand, I guess you would call it, uh, where you can keep... You, you get presented with five birds and then five pieces of food, but you can only keep a combination of five of those things. Right? That's what it is? Yeah, you keep yes. like... Yes. Yep. Okay, so... Hmm. hmm. Mel, are you a, a wingspan pro? No. Uh, Rob beat me. Mel, just beat me this morning. <laughs> Sounds like a hustle to me. <laughs> it was very close. I just needed that warm up game. Now I'm ready for the pros. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the type of player that I'll, I'll play, I'll have a good strategy, then all of a sudden I'll go, oh, I should have done that first, and then I ran out of turns. And I also forget, I know I did this this morning in the app, uh, I forget to look at my um, ra uh, end game hidden personal goals or whatever to help that in your decision too, right? Because you pick only one of those to keep. I don't know if you did that, Mel. Did you set up already? I did, yeah. yeah. So I'm just looking at mine here. Uh, where is it? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, hmm. I'm sure somebody's watching like, no, you should take that one. Uh... 
Angie, do you play often? I used to play this a lot. I, I love the engine on this game. Um, yeah. And it's, it's just, it's very chill. I'm hoping that they release a, uh, like a South American version, mm. like a, a, an expansion, because then the Kanji Pheasant will be on there and I get to no use that. No way. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. But, but I, I, I think this game is so relaxing and chill. And then, you know, for people who like to compete, it's also, <laughs> it's... It, it's in there for them too. Oh yeah. yeah. You, can get, you can get ruthless <laughs> with it. Uh... Okay, I don't know. <laughs> the decisions. I don't the feel decisions. good about my start. I I don't feel good at all. What I was presented with based on the goals. It's like no, I, I don't feel there was an obvious route. But no, that's part of the fun of the game. Just the random craziness of what cards show up in a game, I'm trying to make it all work as best you can. And let me know, uh, anyone watching, if the sound of, like, the birds or sound effects or music or ambiance is, like, too loud or too low or anything. Um, there is, like, a thousand. Like, these guys are, I'm telling you, the settings menu for a game like Wingspan you think would have, like, two settings. Uh, but I love showing this off. They have, like, master volume, music volume, sound effects. And then you break down the sound effects by each little thing. And you, they even play trivia for every bird uh, if you want or every time you only play a new bird or you can turn it off. Um, but just the sound alone, that's really cool. Graphics, like, there's not much settings, but, um, there's also, oh yeah, habitat descriptions, animations. The animation of the birds are really cool, but I love the way they have, uh, actual full, like, controller support for the game. So if you're just, like, chilling back on the couch, you don't need to play on keyboard and mouse. If you're playing on a PC, I'm, I'm assuming the controller support works on all the, you know, Xbox and Switch and stuff. Chill, lay back on the couch and just kind of use a controller that's how some people like to play their games not hunched over a keyboard but uh they have full support there which i think is pretty cool pretty neat and it's not everyone and you does both that. selected your goals already yeah. uh yeah yes. okay it's still showing me that it's that's rob's turn uh-oh hmm. so my image hasn't shown up yet no it's it's showing us an hourglass spinning because it's, it's like past because you it's on my, my turn side. yeah 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 my mine is still showing under rob Maybe I need to back out and in again. I don't know. Hmm. No rush, Kanji. Well, take your time and just let us know when you click it. Then if it doesn't happen on our side, then yeah. maybe there's some some patches needed for the game <laughs> after launching possibly, the expansion. Possibly. <laughs> All right, I just hit it. I just hit it. Yeah, let's see. So it's back. There it to... is. Now you have a picture. Yeah. It's all good. I do have a picture now? Okay, yep. cool. Oh, I don't. I'm going to just go back out and in again because I still see nothing happening. Uh-oh. We played a full game today. It all worked perfect, but it was only two-player, and we were in the same house, so I don't know if that makes a difference, if it has peer-to-peer -peer matchmaking or whatever connection. Oh, yep. We're good. You're good. Oh, we're yeah. Good. Janet yep. says, patience. Listen, Janet, we're in a serious game of birdwatching here. This is... There's no time for patience. Tensions are high. Watching. Yeah, tensions are high. <laughs> a lot is on the line here. I'm not stealing. All, well, maybe stealing some of the upload, but. No, I'm good now. I'm sure the data packet over the network of telling the app which uh, bird you put an egg on is not that big. So I think we should be okay. <laughs> <laughs> or which. Which uh, food you took from the bird feeder, I think, is not the biggest data packet sent across the internet. But it's a they. Uh, this is it, it's just kind of weird to see this, like the different habitats. For instance, the forest, the dry land, and the wetland. It's weird that once you click them, you shift to it. Like, yeah. I, mean, I guess I just got so used to the board. <laughs> that, that but I'm there is a view for that. Is. You can you can click the little thing in the bottom left, or hit tab, and you'll see the whole board. Ah, sweet. Okay. Yeah, oh, so you cool. can play that I way if that. you want, which I know okay. it takes getting used to. Like, I forget, like, I, you know, when you play the physical game, like you're saying, you have a bird's eye view uh, of, of <laughs> everything, and you can kind of help see where your eggs are at, you know, what birds are there, where you want to, you know, evaluate your whole tableau. But in this, it kind of just does it like one, one shot at yeah. a time. It's beautiful. It works once you get used to it. But yeah, it is a little jarring to realize there's information not always available to you on your screen. 
Like if you want to see what birds are available to all the players to draw from, you have to scroll down to the, the wetlands or whatever to see them. But again, you can click that full board view and still see those and see everything else. I just don't know. I never played with this view for more than like a turn, but uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll try to see what else can we yeah. Oh yeah, you can switch uh, on the left. You can switch between like the art and then the actual text. And what else here? Trivia. Oh, you can trivia view? Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Oh, it's my turn. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, I like the background I picked. It's like the city one. You guys picked uh, different backgrounds, maybe? Like, I think you pick your own, right? And you see what... Uh, I have the same one you have. Oh, okay. I well, let me see what one... Oh, yeah. I have a different one. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, so you can pick your pick, own background. like the cottage one. Oh. All right. What are we doing with this guy? What did Mel play? Let's see. Carillion yeah, let's warbler. check. Aww. Carillion Warbler. Is it Carillion like a Star Wars thing? <laughs> <laughs> I forget. Click the bird to make it do its chirping. I don't know. Let's do this. And let's pay for the birdie. I think this will work. I know, Bob. I'm going to play slow, especially for the first few turns. But then again, later in the game, it gets really like you're like double checking when you like, I feel like this game, you ne you it's the type of game you feel like you never have enough turns to do what you want. So it's like it Greed. gets really it gets really tense when you get down to like a few actions left on your turn because uh, there's only four rounds in the game. And in the first round, I believe we have like eight turns or something like that. And every round you have one less turn. So by the time it gets to the end, you're down to like whatever it is, four or five turns or whatever. Um, I just don't remember what the starting one was, but this. Uh, Wait, why? Why does? Did y'all pick dice out of the dice out of the bird uh, feeder? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking I did about. Not. <laughs> oh, sneaky! Rob did. <laughs> you took what you wanted, eh? Hey, yes, he did. <laughs> listen, I, I, you no. told me I should be picking birds that loot stuff, so I picked a bird that steals all the worms from the bird feeder when I played it, and I thought it was funny that there was a whole bunch of them. And <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> well played. Well got the loot. I got the loot. <laughs> did that go immediately to inventory, or yeah. is it under the bird? No, oh, it's inventory. I know. I was like, okay, it only costs one food to play it. It's a northern flicker. I'm like, I'm in Canada. It seemed all, like it seemed like it all just mad, matched out. It was like, like it was speaking to me, so I had to do it. Well played, <laughs> well played. <laughs> oh, there's more worms. I wish I could bring this guy back to hand and play him again, but uh, that's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I was like, all right, got the plan together. I'm ready, and then all the worms vanished. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so there it is. Round one of four. There's this little screen that comes up at the end of every turn, like every time players take one turn each. And then on the right, it'll show your blue cube, letting you know how many turns you have left. So it gets like more tense as you go to try to get, you know, the round end goal competing. And then you can always click to see how everyone's doing on future goals, which I like a lot. That you can't normally see when you're playing a board game. Like you have to sit there like trying to calculate, but I, I, I don't bother doing that. But in the app here, you can kind of look and see like, how everyone's doing and whether you should compete for a goal or just give up on it and work for something else in the future. Everything's cool. All right. Uh, what am I doing? What do we got in, in the in the bird market here? Let's see. A red-legged partridge, a painted bunting, and a common nightingale. Uh, how common is it? Choose a food type. All players gain one of that food type. I don't like giving away stuff. Uh, yeah, come on. Take that one. 
<laughs> I'd rather rather hurt myself than, than help anyone else. Uh, draw <laughs> two new bonus cards and keep one. Well, my bonus card sucks, so that might be helpful. Or lay one egg on each bird in this column, including this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this. Okay, so let's do... We're going to draw, which is the main actions of the wetlands. I'm going to... Man, that's a lot of food to play this guy. He has five points. So a little feather. The Beside the feathers is their point value. Then they have like a nest type. They have a wingspan. Some of that comes into play based on certain cards and goals and stuff. Um, you or can did you offhand know what's the most expensive or what's the most points you get from a bird? What's the highest point level? Eight, I think. Eight? Okay. I, I believe so. Actually, okay, so five uh, is good with, then, yeah. Yeah, yeah but with the expansion, I think, it, I, I think they added some more, but I haven't gone through those ones yet. Nice. Yeah, do this. No, no, maybe I don't. No, 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 no. Can't do it. So the new bird that got replaced is a painted white start. Gain one mm. worm from the supply. Okay. As weird, none of our goals relate to nests at all. That's pretty rare, I feel. I always feel like there's one in there that's related to a nest type. None of those matter right now. But maybe on personal goals or whatever they do. Yeah, this game is pretty. It's beautiful. I, like I love it. it uh, visually and you know, sound wise or audio or whatever is like yeah, it just comes together as like a beautiful package. Like they put very much care into this app. It's not just whipped together. Like everything has yeah. meaning and purpose. Lots of options. Like yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, and even the even on the board game, I believe the images are birds from the Audubon Societies drawings oh, okay they're they're the actual drawings of them oh that's cool yeah elizabeth hargrave did a really great job on this game oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah okay what do we do now we played this game with my brother and sister-in-law at their house and i think before we even finished playing the game my brother already ordered it <laughs> That's awesome. I loved it. Yeah. yeah, and all the expansions like before yeah, yeah, before everything. they even came out, he bought all the expansions. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> he was like so like he had them like right away. I was like super impressed. Usually like waits yeah. for us to give like the blessing on a game or something, but <laughs> yeah, he was just like, nope, just bought it all. It. Didn't even need to play it. It's all good. <laughs> Done. Sold. Exactly. Oh yeah, the eggs. Well, that, that's an easy turn. Just get some eggs. And then we'll go here. <laughs> Ultra Violetta says, I just Snapchatted this to my friend who's a wings, who's, whose wingspan is his favorite game. Can't wait to see his response to a digital version. Yeah, the digital version's been out for like a couple of years, I feel now. But uh, yeah, just they just added the European expansion, so I'm assuming the Oceana one or whatever, the the yellow box one is probably gonna come. You know, I would assume it's probably a little ways out, but I'm assuming they're working on that too. But I know they stick uh, an ad for it in all the expansions. I remember buying them. I don't know if it, the base game of Wingspan now the current printings come with it. But there usually is a discount code, uh, a little pamphlet included, advertising the digital game. So if your friend bought the expansions, I'm sure that's in there. And your mm -hmm. friend should know about it, I would assume. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Come on, play this guy. Pop. Sean, thank you for the uh, super chat there. I don't know if it's going to pop or not, but uh, for some bird feed. Thank you for the support. Oh, there it is. 
There it is. There was a huge delay there. Just like, sweet, just like the delay on my turn. Uh, that's taking too long. Uh, let's see. Getting distracted. Thank you, Sean, so much for that. Hey, Darren. Good to see you again. I've not been by for a while. Yeah, we haven't played Arkham Horror in a while, so I, I totally understand. <laughs> uh, just been busy, though. I would drop in. Well, I had a minute to say hi. Hello, Darren. Good to see you again. Glad you're doing okay. How are, how are things? How are things? Oh, hope you're doing well. The base action should be available to me. Why is it not letting me do it? Do you have the egg to spend on it? No, I'm just trying. I'm trying to do this. Activate this by clicking on the habitat. Then all your birds with. Yeah, but I just want to get the damn thing. Because I should be able to just draw, use a cube to draw a card to pick a card from the card tray uh well you have a bird in your left so you gotta pay an egg to do that because you're the second one in right and then it i it... thought i thought there was an active thing that's why i thought there was a that there's a, always an active ability for you to be able to do that oh you're just doing the base one yeah i think you just have to click it and what what did you want to do sorry say it one more time uh, i i wanted to like are you in the wetlands should... trying to draw a card yeah, yeah. Well, okay. you, you have a bird in the f left column, so you can't do can't, that so I action. Can't do it without. Okay. So you do the second space, which you see there's an egg cost above it. Yeah. Not to yeah. draw the card though. If to play a bird there, he has to pay the egg. Oh, sorry. I'm so base. sorry. Maybe right. it's prompting you because you have the option to toss an egg to get a second card. Maybe it's stuck on that prompt. Like in the bottom right, you'll see something where like you can click on uh, throw away an oh, egg for is. an extra card. Yep. That's exactly what it is. Oh, okay, okay. It, yeah, yeah. It's 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 built into the base. That's why. Okay. Yeah, okay, sorry. okay, okay. Yeah, my cool. bad. Yeah, you don't need uh sorry, the eggs are there for the cost of a bird in that row, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Brain fart. That'll work. That'll work. Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah, Janet, it's just usually, I, I'm used to the game board where it's on the left, all the way on the left to just say, just put oh. a cube there on the left and you can do it. But now it's bundled in with, I see, with, with the egg piece. Yeah, there is a good tutorial in this, though, um, for anyone watching. If you do uh, want to be taught kind of how the interface works, how a little quirkiness of where to click and what the kind of iconography and stuff that's in the app, uh, it's there is a tutorial, and they even added a tutorial to, to uh, go over some of the European expansion stuff they added in. So, uh, And they even divide it up by chapters, so if you just want to learn about a section of the game or the interface or whatever, it's all in there. But it is a pretty good tutorial. Trying in the other view here. Okay, let's see. Go like this. Mm -hmm. Oops, 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 don't skip, don't skip. Uh -huh. Oh, did you change the feeder? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Dang it. I just looked over and saw it was different. That's <laughs> <sighs> some of the food in the feeder is my favorite thing. I'm okay with it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No, no. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, it's Serenity now. Okay, well. Uh, yeah, Tara, I do have uh, I do have playthroughs. Uh, I know I played on stream uh, with the physical version. I know Ryan, I remember Ryan, one of our producers in the past, helped us uh, get the game. I was having trouble finding it. I remember Mel and I at, were at Gen Con uh, the one year, and there was like five copies left, and we had it in our hand. And I was like, I don't know. I, I think we'll be able to just get this at home. We don't need to pay. It was like overpriced, too. And I was like, uh, I don't want to take it back. And... I just said, ah, let's just leave it. We'll, we'll grab it later. And yeah, it took like a year and I still hadn't had a copy. And then one of our producers reached out. His uh, girlfriend was in a store and just found an extra copy. So he was like, grab it. And I, you know, I paid for shipping or whatever. And uh, I was able to get a copy of it. But yeah, I bought the expansions. I, I did play it on stream for sure. I know I did. I think even my daughter joined me for like one of the streams we played it. That was fun. But yeah, I, I played the hardcore version off stream too a bunch of times. Or hard copy version, I should say. Yeah, I do need to get it back on the table, though. I do want to play it on stream. Uh, I do like the solo. It's pretty fun. But it's hard to play, like, set it all up when I could just, like, boot up this app and just play this solo, and it's very pretty. I don't have to shuffle a 6,000 card deck uh, to set it up, too, so it's very nice. Uh, let's do this. Oh, I thought I was on that one. Painted bunting. Poachers sell these birds as pets, making it harder for wild populations to thrive. This one's not too bad um, to learn. It's it, it, it does look really confusing, uh, but once you get into the flow, it's oh, it, yeah. it's just kind of like a worker placement game. Yeah. Easy easy to learn, I think. Hard to master is, is where it's yeah, at. It's like yeah, that kind of game. Yeah. It gets really deep. You guys are both messing with the feeder based on the birds I'm seeing you guys what? have played. What? Who? What? What? What the heck? <laughs> who, who did what the what? What now? How am I supposed to get what I want with you guys changing the feeders? Jeez. I just have the chat window if I'm not even, like, I don't have, I have it popped out. I have the same thing, just popped out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Two actions left this round. Okay. Well, I'm giving up on this points. So I can't seem to get a wetland bird going, so uh, I'm not gonna bother. So I see, um, while Rob's taking his turn, I see in the chat, there's some talk about seeing other players' boards, and you can do that, and maybe Rob can show yeah, that. Yeah, I've been doing it, I've been doing it. turn is done? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I was doing it on your guys' turn, but it's like, um, it's weird. Um, yeah, I can see, I can see the boards. I can do it like this, actually. It's probably better. Yeah, so there's Mel's board. And then there's Kanji's board. Kanji, you know you're supposed to play birds in a game, right? What? What? 
I don't want to see what strategy you got going on here. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> what? Somebody's doing stuff. What? All right. Let's see. Uh, okay. Five. Which I like this feature that you can see the player's board. So if you um, want to see what their birds do, you can. Have, have either of you encountered a game where the engine is quite like this, where they do kind of the chained events based on when you play something? Hmm. So, for instance, with the birds, their activated abilities is, you know, once you put a bird in that uh, next to it, the bird on the left activates and you keep going down until you get to the end. Oh. Have you two run into any games that has that type of mechanic? There is. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm trying right. to think. Anyone in the chat know the answer to Kenji's question? I'm sure you guys will have the name before I can think of a name, but I feel like um, that that very pretty one that's on Kickstarter and like um, it's a campaign. I think it was just on Kickstarter or Game Found. The one that's by uh, Tidal Blades. Tidal Blades, the second Tidal Blades. I think it has that kind of thing where you like fire off a row or a column and it does a bunch of abilities or something like that. Right. I think that has that. If I remember correctly, but I, I only spent a little bit of time looking into that game, but I think that was one of the things, right? Had like a grid. Somebody can correct me in the chat, but I feel like that has that kind of thing. You're like placing powers in a grid and based on when you fire them off and what what's in the what row or the do. column. Okay. Yeah, I think it triggers off a bunch, but I could be wrong. I might be misremembering, but maybe somebody in the chat has an answer to that, to Kanji's question. Okay. I'm trying to think. Um... Uh... Let's do this. Did I do it? No, I clicked it. Uh, this one. No, oh, it's so expensive. What's this one? Okay. Oh, Janet says, yeah, Tuttle Blades 2 has that. There we go. And do that. Yep, activate that ability. <laughs> hey, Dragon. This game is for the birds. <laughs> <laughs> what do I want? Ooh, I don't know if I want to give you all that one. Yes, yes. Give us whatever. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about us. We're not doing anything. <laughs> we probably don't need it anyways. Uh, I'm stuck between two. Uh... This is a seven coster. I gotta take it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next person up. Choose your bird. Oh, okay. <laughs> Erica says, I think it looks excellent. <laughs> Above this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Did you I, I wonder if you took the one that I... It, it, the last one's going to come back around to me, so I'm wondering if you took that, if the one that I was... Uh, oh, I'm not draw, even going to tell you. It'll draw. be a surprise. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> okay, what's... Uh, basically, click the start your oh, turn, I and see, it's going to give see. you two birds oh, for you to pick, okay, okay. Um, to choose. Because, I, because Mel, mm. I had one, Mel took one, and then the last one will come back to me. Mm. I 100% agree with you that I always want to eat mini eggs with this game, yep. especially playing in real life. 
Yeah, I'm glad some of the expansions came with extra eggs because I, I don't know, if every time I play with Mel, eggs would go missing from the, the game. So I, I'm assuming they just fell on the floor, like down the vent or something. But Yes, uh, I did not eat any of them. Yeah, so then I, I, they gave us extra eggs in the expansion. So I was like, oh, thankfully, because, yeah, I don't know if she's pocketing them and taking them home, but <laughs> I really think she was eating them thinking they were chocolate. But, uh, yeah. Erica, 100%. They are my favorite as well. They're so good. <laughs> Every single time I think of Cadbury, I just think of the commercial with the rabbit that's clucking like a chicken. Is that what it oh, is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> buck, 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 buck. <laughs> right. uh, Did we take your bird, Kanji? Yes. Oh. <laughs> one of you has it. Whoa. One of you has Whoa. it. Don't have a bird, all right? You were the one who presented <laughs> us with it. Watching player boards to know who. Interesting. What did you do? Ah, it's my turn. Can't can't look at it. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, Bobby, like the Cadbury cream eggs? Not as good. Oh, they're good. I love those. Yeah, they're good. You Would you pick those over mini eggs? If I could have the same volume of them, yes. But mini eggs always come in like nice bags full of them. And Cadbury eggs, you get like one, you know? <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but if I get a giant bag of Cadbury cream eggs or mini eggs, i pick the cream eggs. Oh, okay. So round one completed. Mm-hmm. Nice. Getting crushed here. I can't do yeah. four points. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm not falling for that. Okay, I see what's <laughs> happening. I, step up I am game. not falling for that. All right. Uh, oh, we switched up. I'm last now. Okay. Yes, Erica, I'm. I'm with you. I won't turn them down. Right, but mini eggs are better. Oh, Tara's with Bob. Tara also prefers the cream eggs. They, they now have the ones that are like Oreo cream eggs and caramel cream eggs, but I'm, I'm assuming, Bob, you're talking about the, the base ones, the regular. Kenji, did you weigh in on this? Uh, for Cadbury eggs, I've I've actually never had a Cadbury egg. <gasps> never had one. the cream eggs or the mini eggs, um, or either. Either, either. Of them. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> not not by. I mean, I, I I don't think I've ever had a chance to try them out. I'd like to. They sound they sound really good. Go for the mini eggs first. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar, I don't have the thing <laughs> I want, so I'll have to do this. They have white chocolate mini eggs? No white way. White chocolate? No. Erica, we don't have that in Canada. No, not that we I know. We do of. not. We always get like just the, the the regular. We're lucky we get like one variation of anything here. 
But yes, when we travel to the US, we make sure we go down those aisles to get the random like Oreos and stuff like that just for fun. Just you know, show our blow our daughter's mind showing like the all <laughs> the, it's like Yeah, we have like five flavors of chips. Come here and there's like three aisles dedicated to chips in the US. <laughs> it's like, whoa. I I um so I'm I'm good I, I I'm willing to face the crowd. I don't like chocolate. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, okay. That's um, You're gonna live longer but... than a lot of us. That's good for you. No problem. <laughs> well, chocolate has some pretty decent medicinal properties, but I don't. Dark, uh, however, dark I... chocolate does. Oh, dark chocolate. Okay. The chocolate, the sugar that's compressed to look like chocolate <laughs> that we are talking about is not really. It's not chocolate. even healthy at all. Yeah, huh? it's nothing. There's no. Uh, there's no properties <laughs> at all. That's just poison. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I do like I like peanut butter caramel. So like uh, mm. my favorite candy bar is a payday. Okay, There's yeah, yeah, yeah. No chocolate on it. It's just peanut butter caramel, and you know. Mm. So uh, I'm looking for if Cadbury has if they I can eat a Snicker, but if Cadbury has that type of thing where there's uh, caramel inside the thin chocolate layer, I need uh, that. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll have to say white chocolate is my favorite. Mm -hmm. So to hear that they have white chocolate mini eggs, which I is know. also my favorite, I know, I, I, I know. It's crazy. It'd be bad news for sure. <laughs> Pelican. Seriously endangered in the 1970s, brown pelicans are thriving after the U.S. and Canada banned DDT. <laughs> I'm human too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no. Right, that's my turn. Yeah, key eighty five percent dark chocolate. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Is it the tartness that's that percentage? I, don't like know, the, I think that, it's like the that's purity what that percentage. I thought I thought it was like of... I think it's kind of like the purity of the chocolate, like versus additive. So, uh, but okay. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But yes, at first, the higher percentage of dark chocolate you go, the worse it's going to taste to you because it's, it's like, like baker's chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Like it's yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. There's no additives to sweeten it all up and that kind of stuff. So it's an acquired taste, I find. But yeah, I, I 80, 85, 90 percent, I can eat no problem. And, I, and I'm totally okay. satisfied. Small amounts. And yeah, it's good stuff. It's supposed to be good for you. Press the wrong button. Good. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Now's my time. Meant to take the lead. Secondary. Oh, goodness. Sprague's Pippet. This rare bird's mating display can last for over an Steven, hour. Steven, thank you for subscribing. Hey, Jewel, how's it going? Love your streams. Uh, nice, welcome, welcome. Let's look in. Your 
Okay, no let's see if I can correct my mistake here. Steve, it says, uh, this is like a Bob Ross painting episode. Very chill. Yes, it is. So chill. It is. Yeah, I'm telling you, if you just want to, like, unwind, relax, like, and just want to play a game, like, yeah, put on some headphones or, like, some nice speakers and just play this game. And I have, like, a lot of the volumes turned down from the ambiance and the birds and all that stuff. But, man, the sounds in this game, it's just, yeah, it's very relaxing. Here we go. Matthew. Hello, hello. Hi, Matthew. Got a new member. Steven, thank you so much for becoming a producer. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Thank you for clicking the join button. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the madness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of madness, make sure you join your Discord account to your YouTube account. And uh, yeah, join us in the Discord where there's a bunch of crazies. Now rest, that's madness. All the rest of the... <laughs> <laughs> the loony bin uh, is what we call it. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Bunch of good people hanging out in there. That's for sure. At least most of them are. Oh yeah, I forgot some of them are in the chat right now and and watching. Uh, I shouldn't talk about them. Uh, awkward. I'm just kidding. I'm only joking. Uh... 
Så vi skal. <laughs> oh, I didn't even look. I was on another no. screen. Oh, no. What are we going to do with these berries? You can oh. reset the bird feeder because they're all match. Oh. It's been the turn to reset the bird feeder. <laughs> no, I think when you go to pick, you get to, to reset it. If As long as they're all matching. You don't have to take one. Right? Isn't that how it works? That's is, correct, that yeah. a, is that a turn though to do it? Well, if you go uh, to take food, yeah. yes, like you're gonna. It's the same. You're no, I mean, like, can I reset it and then take food? Yes. No, Just hit no, the no, no, no. You would have to be taking the food action to have the opportunity to reset it. So you're like correct. locked in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can reset before you take. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Yeah, okay. just hit the Good. little bird feeder. Yeah, I'm just saying you can't reset it and then decide, I don't like what came in there. I'm going to draw a card instead or whatever, or play a bird. Good, 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 good. That's good. Right. Yep, I'll do that to take that too. Uh, Tara, we do have a P.O. box. Uh, it depends what it is. We can chat. Um, I don't know where. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, just uh, we don't like to accept stuff blindly anymore. Kind of like we only give it away when we kind of discuss what it is to make sure. Because, um, yeah, it, usually when we get sent stuff from the U.S., especially board games, um, even though you'll think on your end there's no cost to it, uh, we usually get charged by, like, the shipping company, customs handling fees, taxes, duties, all these kind of things. Um, sometimes there's surprise costs. And it's like if something blindly is sent to us and then we got to pay for it and then we don't you know kind of need it or want it it's kind of pointless that we could have just like especially with a board game for example we if we could just go buy the board game for less from a store or secondhand in canada then it costs you to ship it plus our cost to receive it it just doesn't make sense just throwing money away on both ends so uh we just like to be more careful with that stuff but yeah we can discuss what it is and like yeah i don't mind you know if it's if it's something that's like you know like, I don't mind paying for it or whatever. No board game, but want to send Mel some bags of those eggs she likes. Oh, sending food oh, across? No. I, I don't know. I mean, that's not like fruits or vegetables or anything, but... We, you don't have to we'll do be that. To the, we'll be in the U.S. hopefully soon, Tara, and we'll be able to hopefully snag some of those up. Like a truckload. Tara, I'll, I'll rent a truck need, and we'll get them. Uh, just joking. <laughs> no, I don't need, but just enjoy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That would be awesome. Actually, yeah, let me give you the address. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that works for sending. I'll pay across. whatever it takes. <laughs> you work at Albertsons? Oh, that's cool. Is oh. Albertsons still open? I So I live in the South. I lived in the South and there was Albertsons everywhere. Then they all closed. And I thought Albertsons just was gone. I'm surprised to see Albertsons is still open. Uh, yeah, maybe they were just bought up uh, and renamed in that region or something like by a, by a local... Yeah, because I know, because I know, any everyone in the north doesn't know about Publix, but Publix is a southern thing, I believe. I, I have no Publix, but I don't think I've ever been in one. It. But yeah, yeah I've seen on commercials and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I I thought Albertsons was gone. Okay. Oh, they merged with Safeway. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, there's plenty of Safeways in the cell. <laughs> Tara, you're very sweet for thinking Water about that, though. Shrike. Thank you. Shrikes impale their prey on thorns or barbed wire and may save them for later. Do it my last turn. Oh, I know. Uh... Yeah, why not?
Yeah, Kate, I want to know about that one too. I've seen a. Uh, um... Yeah, we're getting wrecked. Yeah, what? I'm. I don't yeah, know what's yeah. happening here. We're getting wrecked. What? I think I'm Who playing a this different guy? game. I got the first turn, huh? Yeah, I'm getting crushed. <laughs> Not like even fully paying attention. <laughs> I think I'm getting crushed the most. I think I'll go with you. Still having fun though. Still having fun. Oh, yeah, we're having fun. We're yeah. Having fun. yeah. <laughs> The, the Those point score pieces, they're nice to look at initially, but when it comes down to the end of the game and the scoring, the birds take uh, everything. Oh, so. okay. I know. So it, it may look like I'm in the lead now, but mm -hmm. I won't be for long. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got some... Who's am I looking at? Can't you got some pretty good birds in yours? I could get them to activate on time. I know, I played one thinking, I played it early thinking you guys were going to do something, but you have not <laughs> well, done it. Uh, is that the hunter? That is, which is the one, uh, I don't know what his name is. Um, uh, yeah, one's no, between birds. Oh, tucking, tuck. Card. No one is tucking. Okay, well, not tucking at all then. I'm throwing all these cards away. <laughs> but I played it first. Like, one of you's got to do it, I'm sure. I know, there's been a lot of tucking birds, I feel, that show up. Some other tuckers. Yeah. Right. <laughs> mm. And she's only when it comes to no dice. <laughs> <laughs> They're dice in the game. <laughs> sort of. Okay. Let's... What to do? Uh... Darren. See you later, Darren. Hi, Darren. <laughs> Seems this game makes me sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Bird emojis? Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Elko, uh, the, the fact you did the work to find them all, uh, you're awesome. 
Oh no. <laughs> That's a happy load on half frozen Mountain Dew for this. <laughs> Drinking energy drinks to watch my stream? That feels great. <laughs> <laughs> that does a lot for the ego. Yeah, yeah. You're so entertaining. I have to chug energy drinks just to keep my eyes open. <laughs> Motivation, all right. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> I found more. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, Kate's. He's trying to one-up Velco here. Crazy. Who's getting something? Who's getting it? Melba's. Random? Oh. Oh, I get it. Oh, nice. Yeah, you have the fewest uh, birds. Let's do... <laughs> that one. Hey, Sean. <laughs> <He's in trouble. laughs> oh, what's this? Hermit Thrush. Players with the fewest... Forest birds gain one from the bird feeder. <laughs> okay, sure. And my next bird should activate. I'll take that and then. Yep, let's do it. Perfect. And I do get one. Crossbill. The parrot crossbill is one of only five bird species in the world with a crossed bill. <laughs> Rob and I are tied, eh? For now. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Well, I think Kanji's oh. coupling us. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know I was so eager to, to join in on the session. It's like, yes, I've been practicing for years for this moment. It's looking at his it's trophies. All according to plan. It's looking at his, his wingspan trophies behind him on the shelf. He's wearing like four medals right now. He won in competitions <laughs> playing competitive wingspan. Show these fools. Hey, which one do I want? Guys have already gotten that. <laughs> and water. Nope. Oh. 
Not interested. Yep. <laughs> Bob says, come on now, Kanji has to be good at at least one game. <laughs> oh, 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 no! Goodness. I'll ban him right now. You say the word, I'll put him in timeout. You just say <laughs> Kanji. He's been there before. <laughs> Back to the corner with you. <laughs> the, guy, the guy knows right where to stick the knife, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Logator, there's only one answer to that question. And no. it's yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to start anything, but my six-year-old son just asked me if pineapple belongs on pizza. I told him that exact question has divided the Discord community. It has divided the whole internet. I think it started a <laughs> war uh, on some on somewhere in the world. Uh... Multiple, yeah, multiple Discord communities. <laughs> yeah, that's all over But has your son tried pineapple on pizza? The answer should always be no. Just always no. You know, it's yes, <laughs> you have to try it before you I've dislike it. I've tried it. I've tried it. Yeah, oh, and you're, then you're fair to dislike it. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. I've tried. It's not for everybody. Just the cool people. Dan, I could never ban you. you. You always have a special place in my heart, Dan. Yeah, I could never ban you. <laughs> yes. He is not yet. Are you saving it for to punish him when he does something wrong? Or is that, what what's, is that what's going on? Or are you just afraid he might try it and like it? And then realize maybe he's in the wrong family and then he, you know, ventures out on his own and starts, starts doing his, living his own life, you know, because he realizes there's more out there in the world. <laughs> you really thought this one through. <laughs> <laughs> it opens his eyes to the, to the, the world. He starts seeing things in a different way. Also, one thing to point out about this game, anyone watching, yes, we're taking a long time with it, but there is, uh, like a lot of digital apps uh, of board games, there is an asynchronous mode and like a real-time mode that gives only players a couple minutes to take their turn. So you can go online and play against like random people and stuff. Um, if, you know, if you only have a few minutes, you know, to play the game or whatever, an hour, you know, whatever it takes, um, you can play in that mode or you can play this mode where you kind of like just take your turns casually and you play the game over like, was it three day span or something like that? Um, but yeah, so there's those modes. So we're playing the one that's like obviously no time pressure. Uh, but Hero don't... Realms has the same thing, right? The yeah, Disney yeah, Realms. yeah. Star Realms, yeah. Yeah, so if you're worried, like if you don't want to feel pressured, you play the one mode, you know, or if you're not rushed, or if you know like the person you're playing with, you know, doesn't have the time to sit down and play the full game right away. Uh, but if you're like, you know, I only have so much time, I want to play a quick game of Wingspan, there's that for you too, fully. So, yeah. <laughs> Mal, are you okay over there? I had lots, lots of choices. I was doing my whole line of stuff. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Common 
buzzard. Male buzzards make a spectacular breeding display, flying high, then spiraling down over and over. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, well done. Well done. It was not the most it's... efficient play, but I was just trying to troll. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Like I do a lot of blind draws, hoping to get the right birds to like, you know, jump in for those end goals. But then every time I draw, it's like not even close, and there's nothing in the yeah, row, and yeah. just like bad luck sometimes. But <laughs> I try. Right, just looking, it's getting close no to the end now. No, no, no worries. Checking all of my stuff. Well, yeah, last round, yeah, five, five turns to go. Mm -hmm. food, huh? Mm-hmm. Common swift. Swifts stay in the air for months between breeding. The name Aphis means, incorrectly, no feet.
Just getting something from the bird feeder. Thank you. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I really enjoyed y'all's stream on folklore. It was good. Yeah, it was fun. It was uh, fun. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I honestly, I have to be honest. I, I wouldn't have recommended that one for y'all too, because I was like, I know what type of games Rob likes. I don't know if he'd like it, but I, I'm glad to hear that you all had a good time with it. Yeah, I go through this cycle with some games. Like, I, I know there'll be things that annoy me with it, and some of those games I don't even bring to the channel, or I don't purchase, or I just avoid, or I swipe left or whatever the saying is mm -hmm. for you know like nah next game you know but it, it, when i start learning the game even and i start seeing the rule book for some games and seeing those i'm like yeah i know i'm gonna hate this and i dread it like honestly with folklore i, I started to dread it at some points when we we're like learning it and go back to the rules and i'm reading uh rules posts watching other videos full of goof ups and mistakes and yeah. reading some people's impressions of the game i'm like that there's things here that draw me to the game for sure. That's why I was interested in trying it. But when I actually like when you guys all voted for it to hit the channel, I was like, okay, well now I like I gotta do it. I gotta play this on the channel and give it a give it a fair shot. And uh, yeah, I went through like a roller coaster with like learning that game, playing that game off stream, and then finally like getting to the point on stream. It's like yeah, finally like started to click uh, during there. And we had fun. And we ended up like turning around having a lot of fun with it. And but I remember to, like like I said, the start of the stream was to keep in mind like relax like you know don't let the the small annoyances like ruin the whole game like just try to look at the positives and so i tried to be optimistic like mel is and not be such a pessimist like i usually am and um yeah i ended up having a lot of fun with it and even with the rules hiccups and a few struggles and frustrations with it it still was really fun but like I did set the bar down a little bit so that, that it would be that way, but uh, <laughs> so that you wouldn't. Yeah, I get you, I like get I'm being that. honest. Like, but I, I st <laughs> like I still have fun, but I like to show that journey and like explain that I don't want to just play a game on YouTube with a smile on my face and just say like, yeah. you know, all is great, everybody. I'm glad to be like, you know, goofing up rules and, and trying to look them up and getting frustrated. <laughs> this is great, and you should all buy the game. Yeah, it's super fun because then I know there's people who will buy it and that will frustrate them too. So. I like to show it like both sides kind of, but yeah, I ended up having real fun with that game. I want to play it again. We'll schedule another stream soon. Um, lots of good positive comments and feedback and no real huge goofs or anything. So uh, that was definitely a fun six hour stream yesterday of that. And uh, yeah. yeah. It was fun. It was exhausting, but yeah, uh, yeah. I was exhausted by the end. But that's what happens with a new game. Like we haven't like very got it down. So I don't, I didn't feel very confident, like, you know, presenting it and playing it hundred percent correctly. and. I always feel like like a little nervous and have an extra pressure on my shoulders trying to do that. So yeah, well, plus on top of that, it was like six hours. You you should be wiped. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, yeah, exactly. I, we should have stopped at the end of the chapter like you're supposed to. And I even like thought for a minute like, yeah, this is a good time to stop. I feel good. But then I was like, I knew kind of what was coming next. We played a bit of uh, the you know the boss fight and stuff off camera, and I was like, yeah, I wanna I wanna play now. I wanna play that again. Uh, yeah, I wanna do it now. I don't wanna wait till like next weekend or whatever. So I was like, good to keep going. But uh, yeah, it was fun. And everyone was watching was all excited and it was fun and chat was yeah, really good yeah. and yeah it was awesome yeah it was a really good turnout this one this Dick Sissel. This bird used to live in the eastern U.S., but its range has shrunk due to habitat loss. <laughs> Can I find the uncommon car buzzard? See this Bob's <laughs> picture on it? Uh, oh, right here, right here. Oh, hey, 
Oh, the uncommon buzzard. Yeah, what's uh? <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens with Uthia, Steven. I don't think it's fully gone. If there's enough people that want to put money behind something, I don't know if it's just a vocal minority, but if you go look in the Facebook group over there, there's a lot of people who are like talking about, yeah, I wish I knew I'd throw money at it. We need to fund a you know, a uh, way to bring the company back, but like, I don't know if that's smart business to be putting money behind some, like trying to trying to get somebody out of debt. It doesn't sound like, you know, mm. they're probably not smart with money in the first place. So you probably shouldn't be giving them more money, but uh, that's just my own opinion. But, uh, but yeah, it's like, I, I just think they need to set the bar a little lower. Like maybe if they just tried to like fund a pre-order a print run or something on their website or something see if they can get enough for just people reprinting like the work they already have done just see if they could get you know a reprint going uh see if they can get enough people to fund just a you know single order of the base game see if they can get something in like that but i don't know if they're gonna bother i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see what happens there's probably more to the story so we like we don't know all right uh last action I don't know. This doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? <laughs> Purple Martin. Native Americans hung gourds as houses for these birds because they eat so many bugs. Okay. Uh... Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Dan. Like, I don't think we know the whole story. It's just fun speculating, but... I just think they bit off more they can chew. Like, if you think about it, they've been working on like this expansion, how huge it is. They have more. They hired more employees to work on it, obviously, and and like, you know, they didn't exactly sell too many copies of the first game, and they definitely ate their shirt covering some shipping costs and and in that, and they were hoping this could pull them out. You know, they tried to do the usual thing. I think that you know companies do like Simon have been known for to use uh, future campaigns to help pay for you know project budgets that went out of scope uh, from past projects to try to like cover that on a future campaign. So like we all know there's different publishers that do that. So maybe they thought like, oh, in this next one, you know, the interest on the base game, plus people will just, you know, the previous people will want this expansion, plus the crazies that just do all in the first time they see a game. You know, with all that, we should be rolling in dough to help make up for the cost we ate on shipping, the extra employees, extra work on the expansion, the, you know, the, the, with the molds for the new miniatures and component printing and all that stuff but uh yeah i think they're just their estimates were like way off like way off and i think it, they came with too much in the in the second run they should have just done like i said a, a little mini expansion just to kind of get it on game found and interest the previous players but also have just another way for people to get youthia that maybe didn't have a chance to try it or those who wait to hear people who've actually played it what their thoughts are on the final game you know but the fact that you couldn't find it anywhere when people were getting it and playing it, that doesn't help them. Damn round... it, Rob. Whoop, sorry. It's a damn it, Rob. <laughs> no birds with round end power meet activation requirements. What is this? <laughs> oh, it was something that activated for, oh. for Mal. Yeah, her round end one activated. Oh, I see. But the score popped up when you clicked, clicked Rian. It's like, damn it, Rob. <laughs> oh, did we tie again? <laughs> All right, let's see. We're getting bird amounts on cards. That's the points on cards. Oh, oh, oh. Bonus cards, amount of cards. Okay. And around goals. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm terrible okay. at this game. Eggs. Okay, only one point. Food on cards. Okay. Tough cards. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I was playing like crap, but it just worked out. <laughs> I got a little point here, wow. a little point there. <laughs> I am paying attention, Nico. Anyone it. watching who's a Wingspan Pro, I need comments. I bet you were watching that whole time thinking Rob is an idiot playing this card and that card. But uh, yeah, I was yeah. trying to make uh trying to make a I don't know. I just felt like I was working with junk. Like you know that feeling in games when you feel like everything you draw is just like, oh, this is not what I want, or everything that's available, or you're not triggering things at the right time. I was doing that the whole time. And but I was when KJ said the whole wait till you count birds on the table, I was like that's literally what I'm betting on. <laughs> I was like, that's <laughs> all I have. So I just started changing up my strategy of playing all birds yeah. that had the highest points on them, trying to use as least yep. food as possible. Because I kept drawing every bird I drew blindly, needed like three food. And I was like, this is getting really frustrating, wasting my turns just gathering food. 
Um, and yeah, not it just felt like I had no real engines going. So I just tried to play into the... I had like four different end game cards I was just working towards, getting a couple points on each one. And yeah, it sucked. But anyways... If you hit... If you hit details, you'll see the you'll see the oh, number okay. breakdown pop up. Oh, there you go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. See see all the end game, the little green layer. How many of uh, those little personal goals or whatever they're called? Yeah. I just kept yeah. drawing new ones, and like <laughs> they would suck. Both of them would suck, and I'm like, I'm not working towards any of these. Uh, I'll just take this one and hope I get like a couple points on it. And every one I got like a couple points on, so <laughs> it added up. <laughs> Yeah, it was junk. Wow. I, I've never. I don't think I've ever played a game of Wingspan where I just felt like there was not. I couldn't see a line of play to combo some stuff together and fire off a cool row of engine over and over again. It just felt like I had junk. But and yeah. one of these things to always keep in mind is that there's not one true way to win the game. Yeah, that's, I understand. That's what yeah, I really yeah. love about it. It's yeah. like you weren't getting the stuff that you needed to get the specific chains that you wanted, but yeah. you still built up another way yeah, to yeah. get bigger. And, and that's what the beauty of the game. That is the beauty of the game. Yeah. It's like trying to yeah. trying to work with what you got and, and make the best of it. I think it's super fun. I uh, felt like everything I drew had when activated abilities and nothing had, or activated. sorry, when, not when activated, when uh, played. Oh Nothing yeah, those are the, the so no, those are annoying. Things, yeah. and it felt like it was inefficient. Yeah, yeah. You just get that one shot of something, and you're like, okay, that's cool. But then that bird's just kind of doing nothing for the rest of the game. But it is a place to yeah. like get points. They have points on them and stuff. But yeah, and you guys didn't tuck any cards. <laughs> I hate tucking cards unless it's a tuck a card and let me draw a card to replace draw a it. Card, yeah. Those yeah. are like yeah. the only ones I'll ever play to tuck cards. Usually, unless there's like nothing else I can do really, or I just I or I have a good draw engine going, then I'll play the tuck strategy and, and have some fun tucking cards. Yeah, but. I did have one where it was t if I tucked a card, I drew, I got to lay an egg on the card, so that's fine mm. if there's cards I don't want to use. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I love using the egg strategy. Like I just love trying to pile up eggs on everything and get points for eggs. Was, that's a fun one to do. But I didn't see really anything. Related bonus to that. cards gotcha man that that's the one that did it that sealed the deal yeah just draw <laughs> up just keep drawing bonus cards some of them will just hit and and you'll just find ones that work i, I don't know it was weird you have i i don't know like four or five of them or something uh looks like five because <laughs> <laughs> like every five every bird uh you gave me one of the ones you ca that came by uh when you did that uh -huh. whole letting us pick one one of them was to get new f end game cards i'm like seriously another chance to do this sure why not like I, I haven't hit a good end uh, personal one yet, and I kept just digging, and I was like, and then I would see them come up in the row, and they were usually a cheap bird to play, and I had goals of like just filling up columns, filling up rows with birds. So I was like, well, I'll just buy the cheapest birds, and they happened to give me more end game goals, and then I was just trying to get those going. So it's just funny. Congrats on the win. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It didn't feel. <laughs> didn't feel deserved but it's the... you, you you want it to be more crushing <laughs> well no it's the end game goals i was like trying to work towards those but there was never birds available to play in the right uh, habitats and stuff and i'm, I'm thinking uh -huh. you guys have them all so i was getting frustrated and then watching you like crush those end game goals and mel wasn't at all i was like weird she's having the same trouble or she's yeah, doing something else trouble. yeah and then but then you kept winning them so then i was like all right i'm changing up i'm gonna just try to tie at least if i can tie even if it's so inefficient i'll just play a bird that'll like you know get me that end game goal like get closer to it or end round yeah. goal end round goal i should say but yeah that was fun just trolling you there because i mean <laughs> i that probably stole what like seven yeah. seven or so points from you yep so yep. seven points swing so that would be like a 14 point swing right so yeah you would've, probably yeah, would have won if i didn't <laughs> didn't get in there with those and just like ended up ignoring the last two <laughs> yeah it was a good it was a good strat though yeah, it, was, it was a really good strategy it's being a troll <laughs> <laughs> that was fun i love this game i do i love this game it's yeah so good. yeah i do as well i do as well yeah it's very fun yeah i definitely think it's fun yeah, yeah. yeah hopefully they bring oceana to digital as well i just hope it doesn't take as long uh, when they sent me an email saying hey we added the uh, new expansion to the digital and they're getting all excited i was thinking like oh it's the latest you know and then i go and look i'm like oh it's it's this this one only like where where's the last one like it's been out for a while uh yeah. surprised it takes so long but yeah i'm sure they'll do it it seems to be doing well people do love the digital game but yeah well i appreciate you guys joining me that was fun yeah thank, thank you yeah i'm gonna play thank some you, more of these you. digital games like this uh you know multiplayer I, I need to get back to doing some of this stuff yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, it was very right. fun. Thank you. All right. Well, I'll see you two later. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Well, 
That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. And yeah, those wingspan digital. So uh, yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, the game is has the, the European expansion added to it. Uh, it is on sale right now on Steam. The base game is just alone. If you're just looking for the base game to try it out, uh, it's like half price right now, fifty percent off. It's only like eleven dollars Canadian, so it's like fifty cents US or something. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely on sale uh, on PC in, in the Steam store. I don't know if that's everywhere, but the game is available on um, Switch, Xbox. Uh, PC. It's in a, it's in that GOG store, whatever it's called. Um, also on PC if you don't like Steam. And iOS and Android. So yeah, you can play this game on your phone, tablet, computer, video game console. Just not PlayStation, I don't think. At least it didn't say on the um, didn't say on their website, but maybe it is. I'm surprised it's not on PlayStation. That might be an error. But yeah, it just shows the logos down here. It says on Steam, Switch, the App Store. Yeah, GOG.com, Xbox, and Google Play. And yeah, it's just on sale like 39% off the bundle with the expansion. Um, oh, it's 10% off the European expansion, which is not, not a big deal, but I mean, if you don't have it. But yeah, just showing that off. They're, they're nice enough to send us codes so Mel and I could play. Um, I already had the game, but they sent a code to play the... Uh, we actually got to play the European expansion early before it was released, uh, which was kind of nice of them. So, yeah, there it is. That's uh, Wingspan Digital. Again, Wingspan Digital on the channel. Uh, we're back tomorrow playing Star Wars Imperial Assault. Kyle messaged us today said it should be all good, so he should be joining us for another episode of Star Wars Imperial Assault campaign tomorrow. Uh, I'm really, I'll be scheduling another Folklore of the Affliction playthrough. I'm assuming for Saturday is what it's looking like, but that will pop up on the channel shortly. Um, so make sure you subscribe uh, and turn on notifications so you can find your way back to the channel. And yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you all for hanging out in the chat. Thank you everyone for the support. Thanks to new members and you know those that donate on Patreon and, and whatnot for supporting the channel. Thank you for helping us out. And yeah, I'll see you in the next stream. Bye bye.